You're watching Minimation World TV. Please like, share, and subscribe for more fun adventures. Welcome back, Minifams. Today we have an exciting adventure with new friends to introduce. Seraphim and Kurt. Join them as they explore the wonders of outer space, visiting planets and stars. Hi there, Minifams. I'm Seraphim, and I'm so excited to take you on this space journey. We're going to explore the coolest places in our solar system, and trust me, there's so much to discover. Hey, Minifams, I'm Kurt. Get ready to blast off with us and learn all about the planet's stars, and who knows, maybe we'll even meet some aliens. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Or am I? Ha ha ha, you never know, Kurt. Space is full of surprises. We're going to have so much fun exploring together. Let's get started on this epic adventure. Seraphim and Kurt are all set for an incredible journey into the vastness of space. They've checked their controls, secured their helmets, and now it's time to make history. As they count down together, three, two, one, the engines roar to life, and with a burst of energy, their rocket lifts off the ground, soaring towards the stars above. The adventure of a lifetime has just begun. Here we go. We're soaring through the sky, leaving Earth behind. Look at all those stars twinkling like diamonds. Isn't it amazing? It's like we're swimming in a sea of sparkling lights. Did you know that in space there's no air, so you wouldn't be able to hear anything outside the rocket? That's why it's so quiet out here. That's right. It's so cool how in space, sound can't travel like it does on Earth. And you know what else is awesome? We're using special thrusters to move around up here, since there's no gravity to pull us down. It's like being in a giant playground. I love how we can float around just like astronauts. But don't forget, Minifams, even though we're floating, we're on a mission to explore. So let's keep our eyes peeled for the amazing sights ahead. Look at all the planets in our solar system. There's Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Wow! Our solar system is like a big family, with the Sun being the big, warm parent in the center. Each planet is a unique member of this family, and they all have their own special qualities. And just like people in a family, every planet has its own personality. Some are hot, some are cold, some have rings, and some are just gigantic. So let's visit them one by one and find out what makes them so special. Are you ready to dive in, Minifams? I can't wait to explore them with you. Let's make our first stop, Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun. Hold on tight, because it's going to be scorching hot. First stop, Mercury. This tiny planet is the closest to the Sun and experiences some of the most extreme temperatures in our solar system. During the day, the surface of Mercury can become blisteringly hot, reaching up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit. But that's not all, because Mercury has almost no atmosphere. The heat escapes quickly at night, causing temperatures to drop drastically, making it one of the coldest places in our solar system when the sun goes down. Its surface is covered in craters, much like our moon, giving us clues about its long and violent history. Let's join Seraphim and Kurt as they explore this fascinating oven-like world and discover what makes Mercury so unique. Whoa, it's scorching hot here. Mercury is like a giant oven because it's so close to the sun. Can you feel the heat, Kurt? Oh, definitely. It's like being in a super hot sauna. But guess what? At night, it gets super cold because there's no atmosphere to trap the heat. It's like going from a boiling hot desert to a freezing icebox all in one day. And look at all these craters. Mercury is covered in them because it doesn't have an atmosphere to protect it from space rocks. It's like a giant ball of Swiss cheese. 
What do you think, Minifams? Pretty cool, right? Totally. Mercury's surface is full of history. Every crater tells a story of a space rock that crashed into the planet long ago. But before we melt in this heat, let's blast off to our next destination. Venus, the cloudy planet. Next up is Venus, often called Earth's twin because of its similar size. But it couldn't be more different. Venus is shrouded in the thick clouds made of toxic gases like sulfuric acid, creating a greenhouse effect that traps heat and makes the planet even hotter than Mercury. These dense clouds completely cover the surface, making it impossible to see the ground from space. The atmosphere is so thick and pressurized that it's like being 3,000 feet underwater on Earth. As we approach Venus, get ready to explore this mysterious and scorching world where the conditions are unlike anything we've experienced so far. Whoa, I can hardly see anything. These thick clouds are made of toxic gas and they trap so much heat that Venus is even hotter than Mercury. It's like walking through a foggy, smelly kitchen with the oven turned all the way up. Yeah, it's like a giant pressure cooker. And did you know, Seraphim, that Venus spins the opposite way from Earth? So if you lived here, the sun would rise in the west and set in the east. Isn't that wild? That's so weird. Imagine waking up and seeing the sun come up on the opposite side every day. And it takes longer for Venus to rotate once than it does to orbit the sun. So a day here is longer than a year. How crazy is that, Minifams? It's definitely one of the most unusual planets we've visited so far. But let's head to a place we know better. Earth. Ready to see our home planet from space, Minifams? And now, we've arrived at our home, Earth. This beautiful planet is unique in so many ways. It's the only place we know of in the vast universe that supports life. Earth is perfectly positioned in the solar system, at just the right distance from the sun, allowing it to have liquid water, a stable atmosphere, and temperatures that are just right for life to thrive. Our planet is a vibrant mix of blue oceans, green forests, and towering mountains, all teeming with an incredible diversity of life forms. From the smallest microorganisms to the largest animals, Earth is a living, breathing world filled with wonders. As Seraphim and Kurt take a moment to reflect on the planet we call home, let's appreciate the incredible balance that makes Earth so special. Now, let's see what they have to say about our one-of-a-kind planet. Look at that beautiful blue and green planet. Earth is just the right distance from the sun, so it's not too hot and not too cold. Perfect for life. What's your favorite thing about Earth, Kurt? I love the oceans. They cover about 70% of Earth's surface and are home to all sorts of amazing creatures. Plus, we have all kinds of plants, animals, and of course us, humans. We're so blessed to live on a planet that has everything we need to survive. Absolutely. Earth is the only planet where we've found life so far, but who knows what we might discover out there someday. There could be other planets with life just waiting to be explored. Now, let's head to Mars, the red planet, and see what mysteries it holds. Next, we land on Mars, famously known as the red planet. This striking reddish color that defines Mars comes from the iron oxide, or rust covering its surface, giving the planet its distinctive hue. Mars has fascinated scientists and space enthusiasts for centuries, not only because of its color, but also due to its many intriguing features. This planet, with its thin atmosphere and dusty landscapes, offers a glimpse into a world that might have once been very different from the barren desert we see today. Mars is also home to some of the most impressive geological formations in the solar system, including massive volcanoes and deep canyons that stretch for miles. 
As Seraphim and Kurt explore this rugged, rust-colored terrain, they uncover the mysteries and wonders that make Mars such an exciting destination in our solar system. Let's join them as they discover what makes Mars truly unique. Mars looks like a giant red desert. That's because of the iron oxide, or rust, in its soil. It's like the planet is covered in red dust. Imagine living in a place that looks like this every day. And check out those mountains. Olympus Mons is the tallest volcano in the solar system, almost three times as tall as Mount Everest. It's like the biggest mountain you could ever imagine, right here on Mars. Mars also has the deepest canyon, Valles Marineris, which is over 2,500 miles long. That's like driving across the entire United States. Can you believe that, Minifams? This planet is full of surprises. And did you know that Mars might have had water a long time ago? Some scientists think there could still be some hidden underground. Who knows what we might find here in the future? But for now, let's continue our journey to the giant of our solar system, Jupiter. As we approach Jupiter, prepare to be amazed by the sheer scale of this giant planet. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system, with a diameter of about 86,000 miles, more than 11 times that of Earth. One of its most striking features is the Great Red Spot, a colossal storm that has been churning for at least 400 years. This enormous, swirling tempest is so vast that it could easily fit three Earths inside it. Jupiter's massive size and powerful gravity have a significant impact on the solar system, drawing in many comets and asteroids that might otherwise threaten our planet. Jupiter is also home to an astonishing number of moons, over 75, each with its own unique characteristics. As Seraphim and Kurt explore this gas giant, they'll discover more about its stormy atmosphere and the fascinating moons that orbit this giant world. Let's see what wonders they uncover on this magnificent planet. Wow, Jupiter is so huge. It's the biggest planet in our solar system. And that great red spot is actually a giant storm that's been going on for hundreds of years. It's like a hurricane that never ends. And did you know Jupiter has more than 75 moons? Some of them, like Ganymede and Europa, are really interesting. Scientists think Europa might even have an ocean under its icy surface. Imagine what could be swimming in there. That's amazing. Jupiter is like a mini solar system all by itself with all those moons and its strong gravity protects Earth by pulling in comets and asteroids that might hit us. It's like our giant guardian in space. But we've got more planets to see, so let's head over to Saturn and check out those famous rings. Now we're visiting Saturn, famous for its breathtaking rings. These rings are made of countless particles of ice and rock, varying from tiny grains to huge boulders, which create a dazzling display as they reflect sunlight. Saturn's rings are the largest and brightest in our solar system, making it one of the most beautiful sights in space. The planet itself is mostly gas, so it's so light it would float in a bathtub if it were big enough. As Seraphim and Kurt enjoy the splendor of Saturn, they'll also learn about the unique features of this gas giant. Wow, Saturn's rings are so beautiful. They're made of ice and rock, and they sparkle like jewels in the sunlight. It's like the planet is wearing a crown. And what's really cool is that Saturn isn't the only planet with rings, but its rings are the biggest and brightest. Some of the pieces in the rings are as small as a grain of sand, while others are as big as a house. That's incredible. And did you know Saturn is so light that it would float if there was a big enough bathtub? It's made mostly of gas, so it's not very dense. Imagine floating a whole planet. It's so fascinating. But let's move on to Uranus, the tilted planet. 
This one's a bit different from the others. Now, let's explore Uranus, one of the most unique planets in our solar system. Uranus stands out because it rotates on its side, unlike any other planet. This unusual tilt means that it essentially rolls around the sun like a giant ball. This sideways rotation creates extreme seasonal changes, where one hemisphere experiences continuous sunlight for about 42 years, while the other remains in darkness for the same length of time. Imagine having a single, long summer or winter throughout your lifetime. Uranus is also a gas giant, similar to Jupiter and Saturn, but its distinct bluish-green color comes from the methane in its atmosphere. This gives the planet an icy, striking appearance as it floats through space. As Seraphim and Kurt delve into the wonders of Uranus, they'll uncover more about its fascinating and unique features. Uranus is so cool. It's tilted on its side, which means it rolls around the sun like a ball. No other planet does that. I wonder what it would be like to live on a planet that rolls around. Yeah, and because of this tilt, Uranus has extreme seasons. One part of the planet is in sunlight for 42 years, while the other is in darkness. Imagine having one long summer or winter for your entire life. That's wild. And Uranus is also a gas giant like Jupiter and Saturn, but it has a bluish green color because of the methane gas in its atmosphere. It's like a giant icy ball floating in space. Let's see if Neptune, the farthest planet from the Sun, is just as interesting. Our final stop is Neptune, the outermost planet in our solar system. Neptune is known for its deep blue color, which is due to the presence of methane in its atmosphere. Being the farthest planet from the Sun, Neptune is incredibly cold and experiences some of the most extreme weather conditions in the solar system. It also boasts the strongest winds of any planet, with speeds reaching up to 1,200 miles per hour, much faster than any jet plane on Earth. As we conclude our journey through the solar system, Neptune's unique features remind us of the incredible diversity and extremes found in our cosmic neighborhood. Brr, Neptune looks so cold and blue. It's the farthest planet from the sun, so it's freezing here. And did you know it has the strongest winds in the solar system? They can blow up to one 200 miles per hour. That's faster than a jet plane. Yeah, it's like the ultimate windy day. Neptune's deep blue color comes from the methane in its atmosphere, and it's also home to some wild storms. There's even a storm similar to Jupiter's great red spot, but it's called the Great Dark Spot. Space sure has some amazing weather. It's incredible how different each planet is. We've learned so much on our space adventure, but there's always more to explore. What do you think, Minifams? Ready for our next adventure? Thanks for joining us on this incredible space adventure. Minifams, we hope you had as much fun as we did. Please subscribe for more exploration and don't forget to like and share. I'm definitely ready. There's so much more to discover in our universe. Until next time, mini-fams. <laughs>